Hello, I'm Dr. Frank Stervone. I practice full-time endodontics in Jacksonville Beach, Florida. Chemomechanical instrumentation is the single most important factor in the treatment of endodontic diseases. But instrumentation produces a smear layer, which brings its own problems. There are organic and inorganic components, bacteria and bacterial byproducts that we must deal with. Here's a view of the canal spaces that you may never have seen before. It's animation, but this is reality. This is the challenge of endodontic therapy. The root canal system is complex. Even single-rooted teeth may contain multiple points of exit. Isthmuses, tissue webs, fins, laterals, canal anastomosis, and the splitting of the root canal at any point along its presumed straight path to the apical foramen. The role of instrumentation is to remove the vital and non-vital tissue contributing to the infection and to facilitate irrigation of these complex anatomies. Successful obturation first requires removing the barriers to a dense 3D fill, including the smear layer. A smear layer of pulp and necrotic tissue, dentinal fragments, and bacteria is formed when instruments contact the dentinal walls. Instruments are proven to contact 65% of the canal walls, potentially leaving behind this smear layer laden with bacteria and their toxins. And while the remaining 35% of the canal surface is untouched, the entire canal system is affected by this smear layer due to the forces generated by rotary and reciprocation instruments. All instruments can push smear layer and contaminated debris into dentinal tubules, lateral canals, fins, and other areas, creating smear plugs, which effectively block the path to the rest of the anatomy. Smear layer can trap bacteria in and keep gutta percha out.